On day two of the Republican National Convention, Navajo Nation Vice President Myron Lizer will address the country, talking about the efforts and resources the Trump administration has put forth for the Navajo people. He says it's all about building relationships. It's for opportunity, it's for what could be, it's for thinking outside the box. Elevating the cares and concerns of the Navajo Nation at the 2020 Republican National Convention. I'll tout all of uh, what President Trump has done for Indian country, you know, starting with the, uh, Co the CARES Act, funding uh, executive order on missing and murdered indigenous women, um, the uh, uh, cold case office that was recently opened in Gila River Indian community. This speech from the Republican vice president this speech from the Republican vice president comes just one week after Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez delivered a speech at the Democratic National Convention. I'm going against uh, the grain here and supporting uh, somebody who's not very uh, well received in Indian country. But, you know, I tell you what, we've got all the relationships working right now. KOAT's political expert Brian Sanderoff says Myron Lizer speaking at Tuesday's convention makes political sense for both the nation and the Trump campaign. You know, Navajos tend to vote for Democratic candidates, but it's important for the nation to maintain contact and relations with both political parties especially when the Republicans are in power. Despite party affiliation, Lizer says it's about unity and doing what's best for the Navajo people. I look forward to uh, seeing what, you know, we could uh, help uh, bring to fruition here on Navajo and Indian country. Lizer says this is an endorsement for President Trump to get another four years. His speech is expected to be about three minutes. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Adamas, KOAT Action 7 News. Earlier this month, Lizer met with Vice President Mike Pence in Arizona to discuss their COVID-19 efforts. He also requested an extension for the use of federal coronavirus relief funding.